hey guys and welcome back to the retouching series part 2 yes! in last part we have seen how to prepare portrait images for retouching and how to clean up the impurities if you haven't seen this video then please go check it out it's necessary to watch the first part for cleanup section if you want to learn editing from scratch now in this part we are going to look at macro dodge burn and also the frequency separation now i will run my dodge and burn actions i will provide this actions link in the description so you can download it so first of all why to use dodge and burn the simple answer is dodge is used to brighten up some unwanted dark parts and burn is used to darken up some unwanted light parts don't forget to run bw help player action because this action will help us to see the unwanted lighten and darken parts so that we can dodge and burn them in this group i have created three layers contrast darken and bw now you have to do some editing as per your comfort so that you can see the proper unwanted shadows and highlights so now let's start the dodge and burn process Select the brush and set hardness to 0% and flow to 1%. You can change the flow if you want, but don't go over 8%. Here you can see the dark parts that we have to dodge, but don't do it over. We are just lighting up these dark parts with soft brush. And again I am saying you don't set the flow over 8%. Find the areas where the lighting and shadows are mismatching with each other and do the dodge or burn as per your need. Now here I am burning some parts. The simple rule of dodge and burn is we have to even out some texture where the light and shadow are mismatching with each other. Now I am fast forwarding this dodge and burn process because this process is very time taking. Just enjoy and see the changes I am doing.
see we have completed the dose and burn process now it's time to do frequency separation there are lot of ways to do frequency separation but i am doing it with median layer so first create one moist layer by pressing ctrl shift alter e on your keyboard now create copy of this layer by pressing ctrl j now select the first layer go to filter section and select noise and then apply median filter now you can change the value according to your image but here don't go over 30 or 40 After applying median filter, your image should look like this. Now select the second layer and go to the image section. Here select the apply image. Change the layer mode to the median filter applied layer. Like I have done that on layer to copy. So I am selecting that layer. Change the blending mode to the subtract and change the values to 2 and 128. So basically we are subtracting the texture from median filter applied layer. So now that filter layer has only colors but not the texture. Now drag this layer upside and change the blending mode to linear light. Group these layers and name it whatever you want but I am naming this FS means frequency separation. Gray layer has all textures and below layer has all colors means when you do something on texture layer then it will change the texture only and if you do anything on color layer means below filtered layer then the colors will only change mainly i work with texture layer and clone stem tool when there is a lot of small texture that i want to remove then this is the best option here you can see our nose has many small hairs and impurities so i will try to remove it Texture changing process has completed. So now we have to work with color layer. With color layer we are going to mix the colors. Not like painting but we will try to make smooth transition. Select color layer and hide the texture layers preview. Now select the mixer brush from brush menu and copy these values to your brush. Now just mix the colors of your image and don't do it over. Enjoy this part.
we have completed frequency separation process and removed some extreme shadows. If you think that you have done it over, then don't worry, just decrease this group's opacity. It always works for me. In the next part, we are going to enhance eyes and lips. So don't forget to watch it. I hope you are learning and understanding what I am saying. And don't forget to put your review in comment section.